Mr. Marine. Mr. Walker, did you understand everything your attorney just said? Okay, he said he wishes to waive the 24-hour notice, waive the reading of the indictment on the record, and enter a not guilty plea. Is that correct? Okay. Your case is assigned to the docket of Judge Timothy McCormick. The first pretrial is on April 19th at 9 a.m. Your original bond is continued. That's a $2 million cash surety property bond. You're to have no contact with the surviving victims. Sign the docket of Judge McCormick. Brother Harvey Brenner, I was previously assigned by Judge McClellan to this case on behalf of Mr. Williams. I'd like to waive the reading of the 24 hour period. In our plea of not guilty, I request a reasonable bond. I know it's uh, too much. Uh, see up there. That's not it. <coughs> okay, counsel, go ahead. All right, thank you. Again, Your Honor, I was previously previously assigned by Judge McClellan in this case. At this time, I'd like to uh, waive the reading of the indictment of the 24-hour period and our plea of not guilty. Request a reasonable bond, Your Honor. Okay. On behalf of my client. Thanks, Mr. Bruner. Mr. Williams, Mr. Bruner has advised that you wish to waive the 24-hour notice, the reading of the indictment, and enter a not guilty plea. Is that correct? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Your case is assigned to the docket of Judge Timothy McCormick. Um, the court will assign co-counsel to represent you in this case. The court assigns attorney James McDonnell to assist in your representation. Your bond is set at $2 million cash surety property. It's the original bond which will be continued. You are to have no contact with the surviving victims. April 19th. April 19th at 2 o'clock. Thank you, Your Honor. Take care. Thank you, you too. Co-defendant A, Terrell Gray, also assigned the docket of Judge McCormick. Public Defender's Office was assigned at first appearance. Thank you. Regarding Terrell Gray, Your Honor, uh, we would like to waive the 24 hours notice, reading of the indictment which Mr. Gray did receive and enter a not guilty plea. Uh, please do find Mr. Gray to be indigent, assign the appropriate counsel, and set the recommended bond, please. Thank you, Mr. Corrigan. Mr. Gray, your attorney is advised that you're indigent, that you wish to waive the 24 hour notice and the reading of the indictment in open court. He also advised that you wish to enter a not guilty plea. Is that correct? Yes, ma'am. Okay, Mr. Gray. The Public Defender's Office has been previously assigned to represent you in this matter. The court will assign co-counsel to assist in your defense. The court assigns attorney John Luskin. Uh, thank you very much, Your Honor. John Luskin, 216-513-6099. Thank you so much, Your Honor, and I'll come see you as soon as I can. Okay. Thank, thank you, Your Honor. Mr. Luskin. Um, your case is also assigned to the docket of Judge Timothy McCormick. The first pretrial is on April 19th at 9 a.m. Your original bond will be continued. That's a $2 million cash surety property bond. You are to have no contact with the surviving victims. Thank you, Judge. Thank you. Case number 615667, Code Defendant A, Kavon Veal. Morning, Honor. Morning, Mr.